Hello, teachers and classmates. Today, I will do my map activity. These are the characters I will use in the story. This is the mommy pig. This is the elder pig. And its name is Roderick. Manny. And the last brother, Greg. And this is the big bad wolf. Title of this story is The Three Little Pigs. And now let's start the puppet show. Once upon a time, there lived three little pigs. The first one was named Manny. The second was named Greg, and the eldest pig was named Roderick. They live in a small house with their mother. Their mother told them that they should live by their own. It's time for you to live by your own! The youngest pig decided to build his house out of straws. And he finished it in just one day. He yelled out to the other pig, let's and say, Hey guys, I'm already done! The eldest pig said to the young pig, Are you, sh are you sure this is gonna keep us safe from the wolf? The eldest pig said. This pig let Take a look at the youngest pig's house. It does not look steady yet. It will not protect us from the wolf. Piglet made his house out of woods he had picked from the trees. And he finished it in just one day. Elder took a look at the second pig's house and said, you did a nice job, brother, but it will not protect us from the wolf. The eldest pig built his ha decided to build his out out of bricks. He, the two piglets say, Why will you waste your time? On a house of bricks, building a house of bricks while without playing with us. It's okay, guys. It'll protect us from the wolf since it's steady. The bricks are steady. One night, a wolf came. He went straight to the House of Straw Open open the door little pig and let me come in Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down the wolf huff and puff and he blow the straw house down but luckily the first pig escaped and ran to the house of woods he said to the second pig there was a wolf he huff and puff my down my house down the second pig said don't worry he could not break this house down the wolf came and said, Let me in, and or else I'll huff and puff and blow your house down. The two pigs said, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew the wood house down. The two little pigs ran to the house of brick. The two piglets say to the elder one, There is a big wolf. He blow both of our houses down. 
The elder pig said, sure. He couldn't come in this house. It's made out of bricks. Then the, how then the wolf came. Let me come in, or else I'll huff and puff your house down. The three little pigs, the eldest pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf huffed and puffed and could not blow the house down. He got tired. And he used something else to climb in. The wolf saw the chimney. He climbed up. But the clever pig, but the elder pig had put fire put on the chimney a fire and a boiling hot water and the wolf threw himself in get me out of here i am burning and as the three little piglets protect them themselves from the wolf they gave a hug and the wolf was never seen again then they went back home. Live happily ever after. The end. The moral of the story is don't judge the book by its cover. Bye. I hope you like my story. Bye-bye!